But either way, uh, the Call Me Crazy Show. She's on Arizona, the Call Me Crazy Show here in Indio, California, man. Can you see that? Call me crazy show, call me crazy show, call me crazy show, call me crazy show. My name is Ray Daniel. I'm a crazy motherfucker. I get so wasted on TV. Call me crazy show, call me crazy show. Tell you what, man. What up, children? Arizona, this is the Call Me Crazy Show episode. Blah blah blah. I have no clue what episode it is. Uh, let's see what time it is. Let's, uh, right now, this is the latest uh, we ever filmed, and let's see what let's see what time it is. The time is 7:15. The time is 7:15. The time is 7:15. The time is 7:15. And uh, shut up! But uh. Uh, this is the latest uh, we ever uh, filmed here at this new undisclosed location. And as a matter of fact, you can hear several. Uh, I was riding a pack of dogs earlier down the river, and I had the dog back there. But, anyways, uh, this is a Call Me Crazy episode, I believe, pushing 185, 184. Uh, I'll tell you what guys, I'll call it episode 180 to 189, so we'll have no, no confusion, because uh, we're not in that land of confusion. And remember that, remember that video on Land of Confusion by Genesis? That was the original puppet, uh, that was the original puppet, uh, uh, and that wasn't a puppet, that was the original special effect puppet video, uh, yeah, that was kind of nightmarish, remember, because at the end of that video, Ronald Reagan, he's like that puppet of Ronald Reagan, he's laying down in that bed of water, you know, at the end of the video, he's like, he's rising up from the dead, and you know, that puppet, you know, Ronald Reagan, it looked just like him, he's like, coming out of the water, uh, yeah, that used to give me nightmares back in 1986, even though people said, uh, Genesis was the greatest band in the world, because they had, uh, Phil Collins on drum. But in my book, no, that book, that, that video, uh, gave me nightmares for you to come. So thank you very much, Young Swiss and Phil Collins, for ruining my childhood. But anyways, uh, uh, there's a buddy of mine at work. Uh, apparently, Blockbuster has been, uh, has, uh, new movies. Blockbuster, I love Blockbuster, I'm there just about every day. I know some good people, a friend of mine who works at Blockbuster. But anyways, uh, they've been, sh uh, uh, They've been for rent uh, at Blockbuster Pumpkinhead Four, and apparently, uh, I guess there's a new Pumpkinhead movie. I guess Pumpkinhead Four or Five. Can you, can you help me on this? But I believe Lance Henriksen is back in the series now. And but I remember watching Pumpkinhead uh, back in 1987, 88, 88, I believe, 88. But anyways, uh, my buddy at work, he's like he's been renting all these Pumpkinhead movies, but has never seen the first Pumpkinhead. Oh my god, you never seen the first pumpkin? No, I thought pumpkin in four a couple nights ago. You never seen the first one? I said, do you even know full screen? I said, he would get the flying fuck. He said, let me borrow it. So I let him borrow it. And uh, he liked it. But the point is that uh, it's funny that the uh, franchise, you can still rent a movie, but not see the original movie. You know, so that uh, it's just kind of kind of fun seeing someone so much younger than me who's never seen the first Pumpkinhead movie. And and the reason I laugh at that because uh, I asked him out of curiosity, I said, how old are you by the way? And he asked me, he wasn't even born when I saw Pumpkinhead. So that gets put into perspective. And no people, I am not the fifth Beatle, even though I wish I was. Uh, a lot of things been going on lately. Uh, uh, Amy Winehouse won a lot of Grammy for this album, and apparently I'm the only guy in Tucson who likes this album. Uh, great album. Uh, I don't give a fuck what anybody says about Amy Winehouse. Uh, she's the best singing voice uh, ever, I think. But uh, she put uh, Britney Spears and uh, Lindsay Lohan and everybody else pretty much 
uh, pretty much uh, to shame. And here's the thing, uh, what's the girl's name? Uh, the woman's name, the, uh, she's the daughter of Nat King Cole. What's her name, Natalie Cole? Is that what her name? Anyway, she was pissed off the following day after Amy Winehouse won the Grammy for Best Record, Best Song of the Year. And she said it isn't fair that druggies should be uh, be uh, put on a pedestal and win all kinds of al uh, win all kinds of recognition and awards for your, their album. And I'm like, Natalie Cole, weren't you a fucking drug user in the 70s? And you won a lot of awards. So don't be dishing out that shit that you're saying that you're better than anybody else. And I don't even care if you're Natalie Cole. It's like the words of Dave Chappelle. Uh, remember in uh, Dave Chappelle, he had that Nat King Cole get where he, uh, Nat, Nat King Cole coming to you, you live with uh, you know the hip hop label or anything. But uh, Natalie Cole, she was stupid, stupid. But anyways, uh, NASCAR began Daytona. A uh, weekend was last weekend, so uh, Robert, uh, Robert out there in Idaho. Yeah, you go to bed early. I know you do. You gotta get up at the crack of dawn and pull out the potatoes. But uh, before you do, uh, I just want to let you know, Robert, that uh, uh, Ryan Newman won the Daytona 500. And for you people out there who don't like NASCAR, uh, uh, I wish you did, cause then my fan base will grow by one. So it'd be great. But apparently there's nobody I know other than my uh, two good friends uh, who like NASCAR. But anyway, Ryan Newman, for all you people, he's the, uh, the guy who drives the Altel car. And, I, and can we get a shot of my favorite driver of all time? And uh, Ryan Newman won, he's the all pal guy. Uh, I think the money was like a lot of money he won. But the point is, is that uh, NASCAR season has begun, and it's been seven years this week that Dale Earnhardt died. Uh, everybody said, oh, you be, uh, NASCAR's no good. Uh, for all you people out there, I've been watching NASCAR since um, Dale Earnhardt was alive before he died. But anyway, uh, it's a great, uh, great sport, so I don't want to let you guys know about that. Uh, also on sports news, uh, Shaquille O'Neal joined the Phoenix Suns, which should be interesting. Now I have some, uh, uh, I always loved the Phoenix Suns. Uh, I used to love them a lot back in 1993 when they went all the way to the finals with uh, Charles Barkley, if you remember. That was a great year. But anyways, I'm glad to kill Neil to play with the Phoenix Suns. Hopefully the, we can win the Western Conference uh, Championship and, and uh, go on to the uh, NBA Final this uh, June. Uh, other news, other news. Uh, oh, I don't know if I talked about it, but uh, Heath Ledger passed away uh, a couple of weeks ago. I don't care. Uh, but I do care that Kevin DeBro from Quiet Riot died. Now, that guy had a big impact on my life. <laughs> uh, for, for all you folks out there, I was in elementary school back in 1983 when Quiet Riot came out with that song called Come On, Feel The Noise. And I remember even then, uh, it, was, it, was like, it was like it was a sign of things to come. It was like when Come On, Feel The Noise came out in elementary school, it was like Smell Like Teen Spirit came out in high school. It was like, it changed my life. I was like, oh my god. And I was like, what the hell is this? And that's all I could see with the crazy half bald, uh, coked out leather pants wearing dude from Quiet Riot saying, come on, feel the noise. And, uh, and it was Karen DeBro. But anyway, he died at the age of 52 from a cocaine overdose. So, uh, hair metal lives. Uh, I didn't know this, but last, last, uh, last summer, there was this uh, October, uh, uh, Rock, Rocklahoma Festival. And apparently it's a uh, hair gland metal, hair metal festival. And they had everybody from rap to Quiet Riot, Poison, and so many hair metal bands. And they were all, it was like a Coachella for uh, metalheads. Bonnaroo for, for uh, donors, if you will. But, uh, yeah, Kevin DeBro was there, and uh, a couple weeks later he died. 
But anyway, the, I used to love Quiet Riot. And, and apparently, and if you don't know your rock and roll, Randy Rose was the first guitar player in Quiet Riot. And we all know what happened to Randy Rose. He went on to join Ozzy Osbourne, and he died in a plane wreck in uh, May 1982. But anyway, that's that. And uh, what else? Oh, apparently, uh, I was watching the Oscars last night, the 80th, uh, 80th annual uh, uh, Academy Award. Uh, you know, I, I, I love my movie just as much as everybody else, but uh, I'm kind of glad that the Coen brothers finally won uh, their big uh, big prize, No Country for Old Men won Best Picture. And that's the film they helped adapt from a novel called uh, No Country for Old Men by a guy named uh, Cormac McCarthy. And apparently uh, Cormac McCarthy last year wrote a book called The Road which won the Pulitzer Prize. And by the way, uh, if uh, uh, and the television producer is able to get me a copy of that, that'd be great. I am glad to read that called The Road by Cormac McCarthy. But uh, uh, Ethan Cohen, also Ethan and uh, uh, the other Cohen brother, didn't they make uh, The Big Lebowski? Okay, folks, here's the thing. I had never seen The Big Lebowski, not until last year, I believe. Wasn't it last year? I think I saw last year. Saw last year. It, it, and I was kind of, and, and I wasn't blown away. But I, I was kind of tripped out by the movie. Uh, I can see where it become a cult classic. But uh, I thought, I think uh, my favorite Coen Brother movie uh, up until now is uh, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou. But I know certain people who've absolutely hate that movie only because of how it looks and it's like that's why I like the movie but uh, uh I think it's George Clooney's best movie he's ever done other than Syriana but uh Oh Brother Where Art Thou great soundtrack uh great great music great look so but uh yeah I'm glad they won and then who won best actor oh Daniel Day Lewis remember him he won for my He won for my love. I said he won for my left. Well, anyway, he won for this movie called My Left Foot back in the late 80s. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, anyway, he won last night. So 20 years after the fact that he won the first Academy Award, he won the later. And, Last night he was wearing this costume, or he was wearing this get up. I was like, you fool! You're a Hollywood star and you look like a, you look like a tramp. You're wearing this uh, horrid suit. I was like, and he's winning best actor. But anyways, uh, uh, last night the Oscars were boring. I turned it off halfway. But anyways, uh, I, I, I'm ashamed of the Academy because they uh, nominated uh, you know, I understand kids, kids need to have their own movie, Enchanted was a kid's movie. God bless the kids who watch those kind of movies. But come on, there's too many friends in the Academy when, uh, it's obvious when the movie Enchanted had three nominations for best song. And I'm glad it didn't win. But the only thing that hurt me last night is that the Born uh, Ultimatum won best sound mixing, best uh, sound editing. And it's like it's obvious the Transformers the movie was a better sound editing, sound mixing, but it could go to show the people in the academy had knee pads. So uh, that's what you call a bunch of sugar jerks. They're sugar jerking each other. But uh, what else is in the news? Uh, I saw American Gangster a couple days ago. Uh, I'm I'm disappointed the Academy Motion Pictures to nominate any best picture because that Ridley Scott hasn't made a good film since uh I think the last good film for me I think might have been uh Gladiator. Uh, and that had Russell Crowe in there too, so uh by American Gangster I read in some periodicals that people have been calling it the new Scarface. Uh I'm sorry there's no new Scarface. Uh for me Scarface is always Scarface. Tony Montana is the one I always trust. But uh, uh, Denzel Washington did a great job in uh, 
American Gangster, but for me, Scarface is the better gangster film. Also, uh, I gotta go bye bye, but it's great to have you in my uh, undisclosed location. I'm out, and uh, last time was 9 30. Oh. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, I gotta go, Mimi. I gotta go uh, count some sheep, because I'm a shepherd, folks.